This show, Forest, was actually my idea. And I was very fortunate that I invited four other artists who all said yes, they would participate in this with me. And uh, so it's been an exciting ride. I've been worried about the environment and climate change. And uh, so Forest was kind of the, the theme that I wanted to focus on. And real forests, of course, are not just trees. They are trees and ferns and birds and snakes and bugs and they are filled with life and sound and dappled light. They're not uh, a thing that somebody replanted after we clear cut. And so I think they're massively important to preserve. They're, they're sort of mysterious and magical and yet calming all at the same time. So if you walk into the show, you might hear uh, the sounds of a thunderstorm or you might hear a loon calling and be thinking what is this doing in the middle of Toronto but these are you'll know those sounds because these are Canadian forest sounds you'll have heard them many times in your life and we want it to take you back to the forest and remind you why you love it so much and why we need to preserve this very very important part of our landscape. Hi I'm Theo McLaren and um, I'm happy to welcome you to the Leslie Grove Gallery Forest Show. I'm a printmaker and watercolorist and liquid acrylic painter. Um, but these are all mono prints in the show today. Mono meaning one. It's a print because it's not painted directly onto the paper. Um, it's uh, actually transferred onto paper, which makes it a print. But there's only one print. And this theme is the Don Valley, the Don River really, which has gone through such a transformation f over the last, you know, thousands of years. But since Toronto started building, they started adding these structures to connect the east and the west across the river. And we really made a mess of the river. Toxic, but now we're finally cleaning it up. And um, I just like the idea of the, um, the steel man-made structures in, in among the uh, wild growth of, uh, uh, along the Don River. My name is David Johns. I'm, a, I'm an artist. I'm with the Artist Network. I'm also with the Don Valley Art Club. And um, I've been doing this for as long as I can remember. These are the seasons. And I started out doing the fall, which I just, I love the colors. It's just amazing. And with pastel, it's all pure pigment right in your face. I love it. And I did a little five by sevens. I enjoyed it. And then I thought, ah, why don't I do the seasons? Why don't I build on that and do the same scene and, and, do, um, and do the season, so that's what we have. One of the things that I enjoy about plein air painting is also the smell. When you get into a forest after the rain, when I've been outside camping, I've done a lot of canoeing, a lot of solo camping, is after it rains and you, and you wake up, you're having your morning coffee, the smell of a cedar forest is unbelievable. Well, I've always liked trees, they're always there. They change, they're, they, they have leaves, they don't have leaves, they're covered in snow, but they're always there. And that's, that's as you can see, my theme is trees. And I'm going to continue doing a few more of those with some deviations as, as I should. Hi, I'm Martha Johnson. I'm a visual artist that lives and works in Toronto. And actually other places as well too. Often I travel all over the province and sometimes down to New Brunswick and further afield. But my interest is human encroachment, human settlement, settler culture, and the intersection between that and the animals that are in particular in the Don Valley in Toronto. And, and really what I'm trying to do in surrounding Grey, I would say, are works that are about the ravine, restored places, new places in the city of Toronto. There's a little tiny work right at the bottom called uh, Tiny Tommy Thompson Park. And, and as most folks I think are, are probably aware, Tommy Thompson Park is a reclaimed area that I'm starting to be really, really interested in. It was meant to be a deep port and now it's a wildlife refuge. Um, there are avian centers there and it's almost like being on the edge of the world. Hi, my name is Diane and I'm Métis Algonquin. I'm a visual artist. Uh, I am a member of the uh, Métis Nation of Canada and I do a lot of painting that the influence is in the forest because we have a spiritual tie to what we do 
in our traditional way of living. We recognize the trees, the plant, the animals, the sky, the moon, the sun. So the trees speak very much to me. So when you start recognizing the beauty in the forest, the beauty in the tree or in a leaf or a stone or the land, you feel like you're part of a whole. You're not separated. This beautiful forest exhibition, people need to come and see the beauty in each of them because they will feel it, not just looking at the shape and form, but they will feel, it will probably bring a story in their life Oh, this one resembles to a place that I've been before. And this one is, yes, 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 and that it is in that area. So please come and visit this beautiful exhibition. You're not going to regret your visit. Miigwech. So we want you to come to this forest show that's in Leslieville. And maybe you're thinking, why should I come down to Leslieville? Well, number one, Leslieville is one of the coolest neighborhoods in the city. There are wonderful little bakeries and shops and restaurants and parks, and the street life is amazing and you can see this great forest show. So when you come in, one of the things you wanna do, we have three jars and they say, open and take one. So what we want you to do is open the jar and smell, because you'll smell part of the forest. It'll remind you of trees you know that are all over the place in Canada, cedar and pine and Douglas fir. And we also would like you to take home or take to your cottage, take somewhere, a couple of tree seeds. There's instructions on how to plant the seeds. Please take a packet with you and put the seeds in the ground. Help us spread the forest. And when you're here, we have a draw that you can enter. There's each, each of the five artists has donated one piece. Uh, it's lovely work. And you can choose which piece you're most interested in, actually, and enter the draw. We ask you to make a donation of at least $5 to uh, get a ballot. And uh, where is that money going? Well, half of that money is going to Toronto Wildlife Centre. They're the people who save birds that got injured or um, actually any animal, a deer, mouse, a deer, uh, and anything in between. And um, the rest of the money is going to help the artists defray the costs of mounting a show like this. Amongst the five artists, we have so many interpretations, so many ideas, so many different ways and different mediums of looking at what we can do to protect tiny little environments and, and every step counts, every, every little thought counts, every little note counts. So I invite you to come to the Forest Group Show, five wonderful artists all showing different um, methods and, and processes of paintings, all reflecting their love of the forest and uh, you can smell the forest here. You can see the forest, you can win artwork, you can take home some tree seeds and plant your own forest. Uh, so come and enjoy it. It'd be great if you came down to the show and saw it. I think it's, it's, it's some time, it's a wonderful, diverse show. Uh, pastels, acrylic, watercolor, it's all here. And the prints from, from Theo, it's, uh, I mean, now you're gonna see everything at this show. Come on down and see it.